and welcome back to Minecraft Mondays once again. Um, I found the snails, guys. They're so cute. Look at them. So these snails come from the Autumnity mod. Oh, this one hit away. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Anyways, um, as you can see here, I have made a talisman of repair, uh, and that has helped uh, repair all my tools up passively. It's very, very strong. Every second, it uh, restores one durability. So as you can see, my diamond pickaxe, my diamond pickaxe is quite used. Uh, and so it is uh, taking some time to restore back to full health. That being said though, right now I'm on a hunt for some cows. Uh, if, by the way, if you guys are new to this channel, and if you're new to this series for Minecraft, I do Minecraft on Mondays, so that's why it's called this Minecraft Mondays. Uh, consider checking out the beginning of the series, I'll sort of just link the playlist up in the top right corner. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. For today's episode, I think my uh, goal is going to be to try and, well, make an enchantment, make an enchanting table. Uh, and once I get an enchanting table out, uh, I'm going to try and enchant for fortune. Uh, and then maybe after I get fortune, I'm going to try and go to the nether and let's just check that out. Uh, oh, oh, berry bushes. So I didn't find cows, but I found some berries. Nice, raspberry. I'll just eat that right now. So Autumnity is this beautiful little mod that just adds like a little autumn biome here. And I'm so happy that I encountered like three of it and I basically live in one of them. Uh, there they are. There they are. There's, there's... There's four of them. There's four of them. There's four of them. They'll 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 repopulate, right? I'm sorry, cow. No hard feelings. I need you for your life. Okay, so I'll just leave those two here. Um, I'll leave these two here. I'll come back for them later. Uh, cause all I need is one piece of leather. Quite honestly. Oh, there's more cows here. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. I, I didn't kill the cow population. Uh, I just need the leather. I just, I just need it once because uh, once I get my hands on leather once, uh, hopefully there's no mobs. Oh, there's horses here too. So this is a, this is a great this is a great place for me to set up my base. Okay, I'll come back for the horses later. Uh, that'll help me travel a bit a bit better. I might have to get some saddles. There's some salmon, so I can definitely uh, get them for my uh, little aquarium uh, that I will be building at some point in time. But right now, let's just get on to enchanting. Um, let's get that enchanting table done, and let's get that bookshelf done. And look. Oh no, guys, this is bad. Oh no, this is bad. Uh oh. Ah. Where's home? Oh, home's right there. Home's right there. Oh, I just missed it through the trees. Oh my god. Um, just gonna have to go inside one of these houses. I'll just have to sleep here. Oh, the house. So let's get to it. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that enchanting table up and running. Um. Uh, yeah, so how have you guys been uh, lately? I hope you guys have been doing the brand. Uh, let's go here. Put the leather here. Oh, oh, can I split it up? Okay, so leather is 64. Leather is worth 64 EMC. Hmm. I'll keep the raw beef on me. Um, so right now I need to keep one of everything, basically. If uh, Especially if I want to um, transform items into other items. Because I currently don't have a Philosopher's Stone yet. Let's turn that gold ingot all into leather. There we go, 32 pieces of leather. Uh, maybe a little too much for what, and, uh, yeah, a little bit more than what we asked for, but that's okay. Uh, I gotta look for my paper. I brought some paper down here with me, and I don't know where it is, because I use paper to make my um, talisman of repair. Uh, the recipe is, like, you gotta put a string here, put a string here, you put covalence dust up on the top, right, right here, and right here, and put a piece of paper in the middle. Uh, you have to have a bit of every covalence dust, but it seems like... I guess I'm out of paper? Alright, well, I'll just go back upstairs then. Actually, I just need one book, and then I can uh, EMC the rest of the books. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's why that's why equivalent, exch equivalent exchange is handy. It uh, makes everything like very light, in the sense that I don't have to build a lot of farms, and like I get to skip a lot of the grind um, that most people have to do for Minecraft. Um, but that being said, if you enjoy the grind, equivalent exchanges. Like, no fun, basically. Uh, so books, I think, are... So I need three pieces of paper. Oh, that's... Oops. That's that's a lot That's a lot more. I forgot. Okay, so paper is actually just... Okay, oops. Paper is half EMC value of leather. So I got a book, which is 160. And then so I just need to keep one book on me. Put that book in there. And I'll put, all, put the rest of the leather in there. And then I got 11 books. And let's just turn this back into paper. 
There we go. Books, paper, leather. So I gotta make sure, I know this is the food section. I'm gonna keep one book in here. Keep one sheet of paper in here. It's just like, I just gotta have one of everything right now because that's just the situation I'm in. Uh, get some planks and get myself a nice little bookshelf. Excellent. Uh, and I can I can duplicate the bookshelves, but now most importantly, I gotta get an enchanting table. So where do I keep my diamonds? Where do I keep my diamonds? Where do I keep my diamonds? But did I not? Do I not have more diamonds? Oh man. All right. Well, I need two more diamonds. So I shouldn't mind them. I shouldn't mind them because if I get fortune, I'll get more diamonds out of there. So you know what? I'm gonna turn all this gold into diamonds. Uh. Oh, but I need a diamond to start off. I played myself. I need at least one diamond. All right, fine. We'll take that one diamond. I'm gonna make sure I don't use this one diamond right now. Uh, I will have to use it later at some point. Let's put that diamond over here. And then, so I think four pieces of gold uh, makes a diamond. There we go. And I don't want to use this bookshelf yet. I need one book. I can keep the rest of the books. So I think the enchanting table works like this, right? And that's how you get it. Ah, max normal level is 40. Hell shelf. This is apotheosis that's coming up. Uh, there we go. And maybe I'll just grab this iron and turn it into diamonds. So, so I need this. And then I need, I think eight iron is equal to one gold. There we go. Just like that. And there we go, we got our piece of diamond. So I know I just ran out of all my gold. Uh, but that's not important, because uh, we got this. And now we also got a bookshelf too. Okay, so I got my enchanting table. Um, let's, let's make an enchanted room somewhere. Uh, let's see. All right, and we're back. We just dug out that little room. And uh, let's just come over here and let's just synthesize some stuff. Uh, I have one diamond here, right? Yeah, okay, so I need to synthesize some bookshelves. What am I going to turn into book... Uh, maybe I can turn redstone into bookshelves. Uh, let's go and use all this redstone here. I'm going to grab a bookshelf over here, and we'll just transform all these into bookshelves. Let's see, how much bookshelf this... Okay, so we get seven bookshelves off of one stack. Uh, this is why Clothing Exchange is a little, little strong. Uh, not everyone likes it because of that. I know certainly some of my friends are like, oh, Clover Exchange is way too easy. It makes the game way too easy. And I'm inclined to agree with that. That being said, though, bookshelves are bookshelves, and uh, I don't mind getting a fast track. So let's see. So I think I have to be within a few blocks, kind of like this. Um, so let's see. What's the level I can get on here? Unbreaking 2, Unbreaking 1. Okay, so is this is that a, the best I can get? Let's see. Uh, what do I get for a stone axe? Efficiency 2. Okay, so uh, let's just put down some more bookshelves here, here, here. Ooh, that's not a bookshelf. Okay, we have like a nice little enchanting room here. Uh, ah, that being said, though, I should probably make this look a little better. It doesn't look that great right now. Uh, oh. Let's just transform more of this redstone dust into bookshelves. More bookshelves, okay. And then, so we have some residual left over here. Um, I'm gonna store it as obsidian. Actually, 240. Uh, that divides into wood, so I'll just make that into wooden planks. There we go, divides up perfectly. Uh, and so we get all our EMC back as well. And with that wood, I can uh, probably use it to make something fancy. Okay, so what about now? Efficiency five, fortune two. Holy, okay, so Apotheosis actually made uh, stuff very, very powerful. Uh, efficiency 3, level 18. Fortune 2, level 27. Uh, well, I'm going to need some levels before I can get there. So it looks like um, the amount of bush kelves that uh, you can uh, use to benefit you has actually gone up. Um, I actually, I'm actually still exploring this Apotheosis mod, so I'm actually not quite too sure. Uh, how exactly it all comes together, but uh, it looks like it looks like it's quite quite interesting to say the least. Um, so let's just make this enchanting room at least look presentable, um, something like that. Presentable enough. We can have some. We have more space for more bookshelves, or we can have a bucket somewhere, or not bucket. Um, what is it? A barrel, so we can store some enchantments. So efficiency five. I will definitely nab that. Right, because with apotheosis, you can now get like such rare enchantments. Uh, just by itself. 
right? Uh, okay, so we have eight bookshelves still, and then we need some. <sighs> so a hell shelf would actually like buff your enchantments to even like an even higher level. Uh, that being said, though, I need to go to the Nether to get access to that. And right now, it seems like I need some experience. Um, and so probably the best way to get some experience is probably just to kill mobs and also to like mine, I guess. All right, guys. It seems like I found a cavern. Oh no, this is just me digging. Never mind. Okay. Well, I've cleared out this little room here, but um. Uh, it seems like, well, I had a tunnel here, and then I sort of just did this little loop around thing. So I guess, yeah, you know, you know. As you guys can see, my talisman of repair has basically almost fully repaired my diamond pickaxe. Uh, and so there is absolutely no need to go for mending books. Um, <laughs> that being said, though, I probably will still find a mending book because, uh, you know, completion's sake. And I do have a villager, so I can make some um, bookshelves and maybe retrain uh, my villager to be a librarian. Uh, so that being said, I gotta make sure this uh, area is actually suitable for power flower. So uh, in EMC, there's a thing called power flowers, and um, that is just the setup you want to get to be generating maximum EMC. Um, I might have to dig into the ground a little bit, or I, I don't know if I, I want to dig up, because I, the power flower does not look good when it's um, coming out of the ground completely. And I might have to dig this a lot deeper. Uh, in order to accommodate multiple power flowers. I'm going to try and make sure that everything sort of stays within uh, a tight-knit radius. You'll understand in a moment, or not in a moment, but maybe in like a few episodes time when I get to uh, that point, uh, because I will be using uh, a very strong item in Equivalent Exchange known as the Watch of Flowing Time, which will speed up my energy collectors, and it will basically cause me to just literally print EMC. Uh, so once I get my hands on the Watch of Flowing Time, I'm probably just going to let the let my game run AFK while I go to sleep or something. Uh, and let my collectors collect EMC for me. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, it does not fry my computer. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it does use, it, it is very taxing on the computations, uh, I think, on my computer. I don't know, it, it, it does something. It does something. It, it speeds up the tick time of everything, so everything ticks a little faster. And so it might crash with some like other sort of machinery mods which uh, have machines and stuff. But I think this should be an optimal setup for my first power flower network, at least. I just want to make sure I don't dig into my little storage cubby here. Um, I think that should, shouldn't be a problem, though. Okay, and we're back. Uh, so I cleared out this huge little room here. Uh, huge and little room at the same time. So uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that I lay out everything properly. So I need to make sure, because this is a 5x5 five five spot, so it's 1, 2, 3, four, five, and then so one, two, so in the middle, one, two, three, I think here is where my condenser is going to go, uh, because what's going to happen is I'm going to have my condenser here, and I'm going to have an energy relay here, and a collector here, and then collector here, collector here, relay, collector, collector, so basically this whole entire area, I'm going to have to hollow it out, uh, in anticipation of what is to come. That being said though, what is to come is probably going to be in the nether. Uh, I gotta make sure my area here is lit up properly. I'm probably not gonna fill this hole in. Uh, that being said, though, I'm just gonna light up the ground here because it looks a little dark on my shaders. It might not actually be dark in real life, but I mean, not in real life, but like, like without the shaders. That being said, though, I just want to be safe. I have collected quite a bit of cobblestone, so let's just go over here and toss it into my cobblestone chest. Maybe I'll just convert this into EMC uh, at some point. Uh, there we go. And then is that? Do I have andesite? I have andesite on it. That's my andesite chest. I'm going to toss my iron ore in here. Got some obsidian left over still. Oh, maybe I can convert um I can convert this cobble into obsidian and then I can um just go to the Nether right now and we'll end the episode in the Nether. I also have immersive portals installed. So I actually have no idea how that's going to look uh, on immersive portals. Um, but immersive portals allows me to take a peek into the nether or into any portal, honestly, uh, before we jump in, which is uh, excellent in case uh, I jump into the nether and uh, I just get completely screwed over. Um, that being said, though, let's just make our portal then. Let's just make our portal. Uh, okay, so the portal itself is three blocks tall, if I am, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, so maybe let's just have a little area back here and maybe that, that my portal will just be here 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 and here maybe that'll be my portal um and behind my portal there can be like an area that i can use to access 
I don't know what I'm gonna access back there. Um, but maybe this, yeah, so maybe this, this, this looks like a good area. So let's just do that, do that. Grab my obsidian out of here. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Minimum portal size. Hmm. I guess that's, yeah, you know what? Looks fine. It's built into the, uh, it's built into the, the entire place. Now let's go light it up. Now, I don't know. I've actually never lit this up before, uh, with immersive portals. Don't know what's going to happen. It might, it might just crash the game. Let's see. Oh, it's loading chunks. Oh, that's why the portal didn't. Searching for existing frame. Oh. Oh. Ho ho. Look at that. That's the nether port. That's the nether that I'm gonna walk into. It's very open and exposed. Oh my god. This actually will lag your game quite a lot if you don't have a beefy machine. Oof. Okay, so I don't know what's behind it though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to go to the nether. I didn't mean to go to the Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Oh my god. Wait. That just puts you in the nether just like that? That's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, there's some glowstone right above me, so that's really good because that's exactly what I want. But does that mean a gas can shoot me through here? Because that would be insane. Can I place blocks? No, I can't. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, well, the portal's, the portal's up. Um... Wow, we're gonna go diving in here. We're gonna need to get some glowstone, uh, and we're gonna get our philosopher stone. Um, that'll be for next episode. We'll, like dive into the Nether. I don't know if I'm ready for this, honestly. Maybe I'll have to make myself a, a set of iron armor or something. Um, maybe yeah, maybe I'll do that, and then we'll go to the Nether. Do I have enough iron for this? Uh, the answer is yes, I do. But now the Nether portal seems to be glitching me out. But you know what? Until next time, uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you.